What are we going to do today? Well, the grand dame of aviation, we are going to have a look at the Boeing Stearman. It's a biplane built in the 30s and the 40s to train military pilots in North America. The U.S. Air Force, back then it was called the uh, U.S. Army Air Corps, and the Navy, the U.S. Navy, and also the Royal Canadian Air Force pilots all trained on this airplane. I'm coming, I, I, I'm coming, Hermie, I'm coming. My good pal Ferry, we are joined together again here, and in the background you see Ferry's airplane, the Boeing Stearman, the grand old lady of the Dutch skies. But there's another guy I want to introduce today, and that's Rudy Heinen. Rudy, welcome. When Rudy introduced me to the Stearman, it was a complete, entire, different ball of wax. Yeah. It was absolutely fantastic. You completely a, fell in love. Totally. Uh, Why? Yeah. What made you... Yeah, this airplane is iconic. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, to fly it is one thing, but to take it off and to land it is another thing. Uh -huh. And uh, really taught it me. He, uh, he taught me how to do it. And uh, Did that take long? No, surprisingly uh, fast. It's funny because when you expect that somebody goes flying a steamer for the first time, you would expect, hey, you're ready now, and now you came for the solo flight, but I thought, I said nothing. I knew already that was, he was a capable pilot and he, he could easily fly the aircraft, but then he told me that his uh, brother was coming over. So I thought, you know what, I'll wait until his brother is here, because he asked me to fly with his brother, but I gave him a little surprise. Uh, also, I had a good start of a friendship, so when his brother came in and said, hey, Fanny, I will not fly your brother, take your brother yourself. So the, the, the smile on his face, <laughs> that was, that was, was for amazing. me, a big reward. Was, well, your, was your brother also smiling? Or? Yeah, oh yeah, he was, he was <laughs> ecstatic. A more apprehensive. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. He was absolutely ecstatic. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he took all sorts of, he nearly lost his phone in the process by filming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, he was, no, he was absolutely ecstatic. I've flown, uh, some, some 10 hours on the Piper Cub. I know a, a tail dragger is a, is, a, is a difficult plane basically to, to handle, and this one in particular, can you tell me why? Yes, it's, uh, it's dynamically unstable. Uh, the center of gravity is high upon in the wing, and the center of gravity is also behind the main wheels. The struts are very big. The center of gravity is over there, behind the main wheels. And that makes the airplane dynamically unstable. In other words, uh, you're basically flying and controlling it all the way after landing to the hangar. And you were sold. Well, I, basically, I already was sold. Uh, I nearly bought a steerman in, uh, in, in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, by coincidence, I met Rudy on uh, Tesla. Yeah. And, well, the rest is history. Yeah. And then, what makes the steerman so special? Well, especially you, you should remember that, that all the second World War pilots were either trained or went solo in this aircraft. These guys, young boys like my son, 19, 20 years old, they started learning flying in that aircraft. They flew the warbirds, they liberated our country. It's got a history. And then, and then the fact that you can own a piece of that history and, and join it, or at least uh, uh, share it with another guy that's passionate like Ferry, that, that's a big reward. That is so much fun. Flying the airplane is like any other airplane. Mm -hmm. but landing it, nah, it's a little bit. Of course, that's, that's something that still rankles with me. I've flown twice with Ferry here, mm -hmm. you know, and I've flown DC 10, MD 11, almost 10,000 hours. I've flown 747, 777, 787, but he would not let me land this bird. <laughs> Never. <laughs> no. well, maybe maybe uh, this yeah, summer we can yeah, give you a crash yeah, flight. Yeah. You know, the MD 11 was a finicky. Yeah. A rickety, you know, a difficult airplane too. I know. Yeah, and then, and, uh, no. Come on, man. This summer we will give you your opportunity. Okay. And, sure. Uh, I'm willing to bet uh, a little bottle of champagne <laughs> that'll screw up. That it will take. No, you won't screw up. But, uh, you won't screw up. Not at all. 
when, when I flew it with Ferry, the airplane was cream white with a blue stripe on it. That's correct. And then you decided to paint it in the colors like this. What, what, where, where did these colors come from? Well, it, in fact, it's, it's Ferry that came up with it because I bought it when it was in a white with blue colors as the guy in the States overhauled it and painted it. But we as ex-military pilots, we thought, hey, we, we need to make it special. We want to have to give exposure in the Netherlands. All these uh, stearmans in, 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 in the Netherlands are either civilian painted or uh, not Ford. a real one in the real Air Force colors as it came out of the factory. So Ferry came up with the idea, hey, I've been researching the history and this is how the aircraft looked when it was coming out of the factory. So why don't we make it in that color scheme? I said, well, hey, you know what? Go ahead, man, make a plan. And this is the result. It's, I must say it's beautiful. And I, I really love the, the Texel, or as we pronounce it in Holland, Texel Air National Guard yeah. decal. That's what you call it, right? Absolutely. And it's, that's um, a different story altogether. But uh, this logo was designed by Dutch artist Peter van Stitt. Yeah. And he's famous in aviation yeah, I've seen, I've seen his work. He's a digital artist and he made this uh, logo. Well, folks, please subscribe to Pau Farmer Aviation because in the next video we are going to show you a pre-flight or a walk-around of the Boeing Stearman.